Hello everyone, it's me once again. So finally I have the wear buds. This is the glossy white version and um, second batch, unfortunately. So I know many, many people already reviewed this, but my aspect on this is that um, I have the Casio Pro Tech, which is very good. It has Wear OS, but unfortunately it hasn't got the health monitoring system, as you know, and um, it doesn't have the contactless payment system at all. Not that it has a contactless payment system, but I just thought that would be a, such a fantastic idea. On top of it, I'm gonna do the sound test um, comparison between the Bang & Olufsen E8 that I really love, which I still love more than a year I have it. And one of the downside of having a earbud, as many of you will agree, is that after you listen to it, it's very difficult difficult to find the case while as Wearbud has actually nailed that issue so I think as long as the sound is good I think I'm going to continue this product anyway so enough said so let's get on to the unboxing so here it goes all right do -de do -de do -de do I don't think I need to use the that side that's easily peeled off that could go somewhere else and I believe there's a, I noticed there's a sticker here. So let's use the knife. So, ah, okay. Moment of truth, glossy white. I really hope it's a glossy white. So I'm sure many of you have already seen it anyway. So, oh, what's this? Okay, uh, unlike the ones that I saw um, recently, it has this bit of a protective cover. Nice. And that's how it looks, everyone. Nice. I'm very happy with that color. And let's just record the joy of getting this for the first time. Yeah. Good weight. And also the seal. Good. So let's actually do the um, size comparison between E8 uh, earbud. Okay, so that's how much of a difference it looks. Okay, so the E8 is bigger. Okay. Okay, now let's get into taking this out, whatever it is. So the seal. Oh, actually, so the same as the Apple wrist, Apple Watch wrist, same system. I don't know whether there's a copyright on there. There's now a seal that needs to be taken off. You just you just peel that. So there you go. So I'm gonna do the setup. Um, but before that, let's just put that in here, left. Let's put that in, right. Uh, okay, it's not really, oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's completely sealed. Lift up the case. What we have here is a um, charging cable. And, um, right, we've got this booklet here, which I'm sure many of you have already saw, so I'm gonna follow that instruction. I'm actually looking for some other different size of um, earbuds. So that's, there's only one, which seems to be slightly bigger than what I actually have, um, which already comes with. So let's see how that goes. Anyway, so let's do the setup. So here it goes. So I got the thing on my wrist and it says add my earbuds. So the battery life was pretty good, I believe. So let's say I complete it next. Make sure your Bluetooth remote phone is on set. Where yes, yeah, so that I believe I have to click that and um, connect to pair, and then confirm the band. Yes. So confirm. Oh, it's a touch screen. That's nice. Okay, press on the buds release and then in front the buds will automatically enter the pair mode so it will be something like that um led left bud not to connect yep so i need to 
connect with that one whereabouts so that's popping in so let's connect it to whereabouts here so it's pairing okay so it's pairing with my escobar fold oh it's connected good okay so that oh the right as well so you've got to why do you have to pair with left and right as well that's a bit annoying because i got my oh gosh that's not good is it Turn on, open now. Let this um, app always allow. Yeah, okay, so whatever. And connect to the Google Fit. Yep. So allow. So that's all successfully connected. Okay, so I got the um on the right hand side, I got the Bangalore in E8 connected and also the um, whereabouts earbuds connected on the left. And they are connected at the same time because on this device, the Escobar Fold 2, you get an option of listening to um, dual audio uh, system here. So that's very good. So you could uh, correspondently, spontaneously listen to the sound at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a copyright free music beat bass um, with a bit of a sharp sound called the Royale, uh, which is from available at audio library from YouTube. So here it goes. That's very interesting. So basically, it's not bad, but clearly an E8 is much better because mainly because you can customize the sound using the app uh, on the Bang & Olufsen E8. I got the uh, beats and the treble to be the maximum effect. So it's much better, more deep with the sound. This is a bit light, but it's, it's not cracking, <laughs> shall I say? But the biggest thing that you could see the diff feel the difference is that the Bangalore always in response quicker. Okay, so it feels like the sound's going this way. So the spontaneous reaction is that E8 is much quicker, while as the um, the whereabout earbud is almost half a second late to the sound. So there's a huge difference there. Uh, let's just stop the music. Um, so that's the biggest difference that I can see, but it's, it's not bad. It's a shame that I went to the app and you can't really customize the sound for the, the whereabouts, but clearly when you go through the app, um, this is purely designed uh, for the workout purpose, while as the E8 is more like a premium sound that you wear to commute to work. Uh, but fashion wise, I don't know what you think. Which one would you rather wear every day? The Casio uh, Protect or the more simplified minimalist whereabouts? I actually <laughs> much more prefer the uh, Protect model, but then again, some people might choose it. But the bulkiness, I mean, this is pretty bulk, uh, this smartwatch, the Casio Protect, but this is bulkier. Uh, but more minimalist. The um, the rest of the setting seems to be working well. I'm quite impressed with the price. It, you get a really good value for the price, probably because I'm the beginning of Kickstarter. But overall, um, am I disappointed? Not really. I mean, it, it does it does what it does uh, for its price. It's pretty good. But if you want that next level, I guess you got to pay more uh, for like a Bang & Olufsen E8 sound quality. Um, it, it, there is a huge difference, I have to tell you, overall. Um, I think mainly because you could do the uh, sound testings, but the delays is huge letdown for the whereabouts, but what do you expect? Anyway, so I hope I made a very clear um, comparison there and a bit of a quick setup and unboxing, but if you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to let me know. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LGP Tech. Have a lovely, lovely day. All the best. Bye-bye.